Hello everybody and welcome along to this mod review. This is Gaming with Giza and this is Farming Simulator 2013 mod reviews with Gaming with Giza. Uh, this is episode 1. We are going to be looking at a tractor today. Um, the series will be at least twice a month but I'm not going to particularly say any uh, set days because uh, I already have farms in Friday and I do have a full time job other than YouTube to commit to so uh, I can't really uh, select a time that will these will be uploaded but I'll try and keep them regular at least two a month if I can and uh, each one to be different but to kick things off for episode one we're going to look at the JCB Fast Track this is a uh, model by Euro DZM um, the link to which can be found in the description below. Um, JCB started making tractors in, I believe it was uh, 1991 when they first came out, and the 8000 series, which this is the 8310, uh, came out in 2011. Uh, a little bit about the tractor first. Um, the uh, 8000 series JCB consisted of two models. One was the 8280 and one which was the 8310 which is what we have in front of us. The um, 8380 had a maximum power of, two, well has I should say, maximum power of 279 horsepower whereas the 8310 has a horsepower of 306 so slightly more powerful. Uh, as far as I'm aware both have the uh, the same six cylinder um eight litre um sorry about that. The um same eight and a half litre six cylinder um engine. I'm not sure what the manufacturer of that engine though to be honest with you. Um but uh the power takeoffs are uh, rated at two hundred and forty five horsepower for the eighty two eighter and 272 horsepower for the 8310. The total vehicle weight is around about 10 ton, give or take. Um, so it's a fairly heavy old tractor. Um, let me just turn those uh, bits off before we go too far. There we go. Um, what we're going to do now is have a quick look around. In the pack comes this front weight as well as the tractor, which I'll show you in the shop. If uh, we go to the shop, the um, tractor of course is in the tractor section and uh, is available for $112,300. Uh, as you can see here, the JCB Fast Track 8310 is a true JCB. It is smarter, more comfortable and just plain faster than its competitors with 10 tonne rear lift capacity and 3.5 tonnes front linkage. It is immensely spacious cab, but this yellow beast promises the operator's best friend. And with the constant variable transmission gearbox, complete control is literally at your fingertips. As you can see, it's the more, um, it's the 8.5 litre, uh, 306 horsepower version. Um, ah, there we go, it's the Agco CISO AWI-1V-3B. Uh, uh, I believe it's the same engine in both, but I think the uh, 8310 is turbocharged, but I could be wrong on that. So yeah, 112,300 will get you this JCB. And uh, you've also got the weight, which, when I go to weights, there we go. Is uh, is that which is one and a half ton front weight? So uh, that should help with the bigger tools you have on the back linkage. With the ten ton lift at the back, you'll need the uh, big weight at the front, and that can be bought for just under two and a half thousand. So that's not too bad. So then back to the model. As you can see, it is uh, very well detailed. All the nuts and bolts, proper suspension and steering linkages and the little dry shaft in between the axle you can just about make it out there in the middle of the screen now um, all your little buttons that you press to operate the front linkage but obviously they don't work on this particular model as you can see I'm not actually clipping through the uh, tractor as I'm walking you do a bit on the sides but uh, that is forgivable 
at the back you've got all your detailed lights um, the linkage at the back is fairly well detailed with the different couplers and the hydraulic arms and all your uh, spools for the different hydraulics and same again on this side and as well as the little JCB logo just there and you can see inside the cab you've got uh, warning labels and that we'll get to the cab in a minute once again you know you've got the same sort of detail on this side you can't clip through um, what you will notice is that front mudguard on this side actually stays with the wheel whereas when you turn the other way it actually doesn't it actually stays straight I'm not sure if that's just a feature of this model or whether it's actually a feature of the real machine but with the amount of details on this I'm assuming it's uh, it's correct so what we're going to do is now get into the tractor and start her up while she's warming up um, we'll have a look at the keys uh, we have no indicators at all we do have front work lights on keypad 5 and rear work lights on keypad 6 other than that there's nothing else on the keypad at all um, of course you get your horn on zero on the top numpad. If we go inside the cab, as you can see the cab is nice and spacious and well laid out. All the little warning labels and stuff. The cab's got IC so if we press space you can see we can open open the doors that will change the speed between kilometers and miles per hour and uh, I think you can open the back window as well yeah. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, you've got the work light at the top as well, yep, so if it's night time you can have your light on. <laughs> Which is a nice little feature. So yeah, a few opening bits and pieces. As you'll see in a second with the front wheel glider, as I turn, one stays stationary while the other one moves. I'm assuming that's been done because of the uh, fuel tanks just there. Um, let me just bring up my fact sheet again. Uh, this model had about 550 um, litres in this tank when we started. And if you can just bear with me one second, I'll just check just to make sure, see how accurate that is. I'm just looking at the uh, JCB website, at the uh, product brochure. So that's nice, folks. And uh, let me see if I can find fuel capacitor. Normally it tells you somewhere. Ah uh, yeah, fuel tank, 550. Yeah, just short of 550. So yeah, that's accurately represented, which is good. Hopefully it will burn through the fuel at a realistic rate as well. Um, so yeah, nicely detailed model, fairly basic on the extras such as the lights and stuff. But um, overall, not too bad at all. So what we're going to do is take it for a quick spin. Uh, in reality you get about um, 40 mile per hour out of these. So let's just try that by itself. Yep, topping out about 43, so yep, that's about right. So if I head back, what I've got is I've got a trailer. A trailer set up, which um, has a couple of JCBs on it. And we're going to see if that can pull that. The um, tractor should be able to pull about 15 ton. So we're looking about 23 ton here or so. All together. So let's see if it can do it. Yeah, easy. So you shouldn't have any problem on game. Obviously, it accelerates a lot slower than what it does when it's by itself, and it maxes out about 30. Yeah, about 
32 or so miles an hour. So what I'll just do just for now is just park this trailer up here and then we're going to get a plow. Um, in the product literature you actually see this uh, JCB uh, pulling a 10 furrow plow, uh, semi-mounted. So that's what I've got. So we're going to just see if it can do that. Handles very well, doesn't tip over at high speed. Behaves nicely, and of course it's fast because this is after all JCB fast track. So, so far it's living up to its name. So let's hook up to this. Head back to the fields. I'm not going to do a whole field, I'm just going to just make sure it can pull it whilst it's uh, digging in. As you can see, it's a 10 for open now. So we'll set it up on this field here. As I say, I'm not going to plow properly, and I've got it the wrong way around for starters, but it should be alright. So, if we lower that in, we'll go in the ground, and off we go forward. Yeah, using it to accelerate past its actual limits. So, yeah, no problem at all for the big equipment, just as it should be. Perfect. So there we have it, that's the uh, JCB Fast Track. Um, this is the 8310. It's the only model available uh, from Euro DZN, so you can only get the 8310, you can't get the smaller brother. But um, I personally feel that if you can afford this tractor, it's definitely one that it should be on most big farms. Uh, detail is very impressive, performance is not affected at all by it on the uh, on the game and I've not seen any mod conflicts yet so uh, hopefully it should be a top model so um, on the JCB fast track I would like to highly recommend this mod and uh, the download link is in the description below um, thank you for watching uh, please join me again for episode 2 where we'll be looking at something else until then like I say thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to comment rate and subscribe I'll see you again next time bye for now